metal show. Yeah, going out on the road is always fun. Visit cities, go wreck them and leave. Yeah. <laughs> time around we really wanted to fuck with the concept of arena rock we came up with the stage that was definitely different than what any other bands had done the concept of playing every song in a different formation a different setup drums moving around james moving around all this different shit snake pit kids in the middle we just wanted to challenge the ways that people see fucking arena rock shows The energy level when we play is incredible. I was talking to a fan. He said we were a band that gave out this energy and the audience was receiving it and then giving it back to us. And, and we were receiving it through our heads and, and channeling it through our guitars again, back out at them. It's like this circle of energy going. I shouldn't neglect to say that he also told me he was on acid. <laughs> The snake pit in the new stage of this last tour was definitely the coolest idea we've ever come up with. The oneness with the crowd really came into play there because every time you knew that you were going to be able to get that energy thing back, oh, you'd look right down there and reach your hand out and there's somebody to reach their hand out to you, you know, and exchange some sweat and some, and some whatever, something that you could set your feet down and go, yeah, my bud's right there. for getting me through some tough times and listening since 85. I see a definite <laughs> uh, surrealist <laughs> influence in here around the time of like, you know, 1920s Impressionist. Little fox. There you go. It's high quality Woo! art. I didn't hear nothing, man. It's kind of cool. Anyway, this movie's about 20, 25 minutes. Um, just check it out. And uh, we'll be back at you in 25 minutes, okay? So have a good time. with those guys as least as possible when it's done though motherfucker when it's done though we're gonna come out and kick your ass all fucking night how does that sound huh okay we'll see you out there in a few minutes Cincy hang on alright While I'm fucking, while I'm sitting there trying to say all that shit after you walk out, you're showing the fucking thing with all the eels coming out of that chick's pussy on the TV. <laughs> to move out of the seats and you need to you're in jail. Okay, but I can say fuck, right? You've said it 20 times already. Just don't get your dick out on stage, basically. No need to see you no bringing people out of seats. <laughs> <laughs> they want to get closer and closer. Soon they'll be up on stage, probably.
Wouldn't doubt it. Don't incite the same kind of riot that the Who had here. Yeah. Oh, I was planning on it. <laughs> Don't play with a bummer. <laughs> and no, none of this either tonight. <laughs> Huh? All right, we're gonna have a good one. Hey, 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 hey! You started.
I can do a few more. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm glad I do a few more, man. <sighs> Rocking crowd. Forgot to play the Who song, though. Motherfuck. Motherfuck. They were some loud motherfuckers. They really were. People drive. We won't get trapped on again. People try to run us down. Down, 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 Energy, man, and fucking it was energy. It was boomy as shit. Plus, yeah. Unforgiven, my bass went out. It was gone. <laughs> Fuck. They were so fired up. Like all the fuckers on the sides. Check this out. Where did that come from? That's from, that that's been from what? pounding on my guitar so much. Mm -hmm. Good cheek He's doing it. Huh? A lot of fucking chicks. Looks like 50-50. That's the sign of making it. There's 50 fucking percent chicks out in the house. There's 50 chicks. <laughs> There's 50 chicks. 50 guys. 50, 50 chicks. <laughs> oh! To 15,000 guys. 50 guys to 15,000 chicks. So, what did we learn from that? Going into it was cool. Going into bells is fucked. Yeah. Going into it, but yeah. But the way you just stop, sat down and shit was I fucking cool. I positioned myself. I sat down. I know, I saw that. Is, but, oh. Maybe we gotta come up with a better ending and a better segue into bells. Just at least where there's a power chord. There's something like you go bam, 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 bam. I was thinking right away, instead of me starting the kick drum thing, right away start the intro to bells like ba 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 boom. Like do that about twice, and then or a couple of times, and then do the kick drum thing and get them going, and then continue it. Because I think if they know what song it is and shit, they might be a little more, instead of just clapping along to a kick drum that they don't know where the fuck is going, you know? Do it like three times. Yeah, it had to be. And let the last one fade. Hang. Come on, all you motherfuckers. I think it's cool. Jason. <laughs> the end of Master. The master. Master! Master. And it does that thing. You're screaming over it or something. You can't hear it. Uh, I don't go any longer than I eat. Master, Master. The last three kicks I see him, he fucking, every night he stands and fucking yells at you and points at you. I'm thinking he's looking into the camera. Master. Master! Master. You do a hell of a long thing. It yeah. covers up the... I've seen you do that too. Eyes. Cool. I keep forgetting it. It was, it's so mad. We still like it. You know, it's mad. It's just coming out. You know, when I do that, it's lazy. All of a sudden, boing. That's <laughs> sick. Six, six, six. Because, like, kind of comes out of their forehead. You know, like in the movies, shit. It's kind of. And raises out of their skin, like. Transformation shit or something. Fuck. Pretty scary. And the, but those guys don't. They don't understand. They don't even come to them, you know, later. Like. Probably when they're about 40 or something. If they live till then. They're about to be 40 and then they'll realize really where it's at, you know. But it's okay because I put up with them. I have to. I have to. You know, it's for the kids.
it's one thing. Only, it's only my guitar and him. Yeah. Yeah. Further advancement of Kurt Capra's. Be one fucking seat anywhere that would fucking bank him. No fire marshal wouldn't let us go down any further to the back of the stage. We wanted to release those seats itself. That was it. Those were the other 500 seats. It was done. All done. Luxurious, huh? Ice cold. <laughs> Let's get the hat, James. Huh? Let's get the hat. Hey, what do you do, Mama? Istanbul, man. Can you tell? Yeah, we're world travelers, motherfucker. I wish you were. Hello, girls. Morning. God, I'm glad I was dressed. I want a Metallica autograph because my brother is 14 years old and, uh, he goes through, he's gone through a lot in his life, and Metallica really means a lot to him. He's got all the tapes, and uh, Metallica's music really helps him get through. I heard about the concert on the radio one day when I was cleaning. Good morning. So bitches. God damn it. You have no fucking privacy out of here. Make yourself useful. Start packing. <laughs> We just got the new album and uh Okay man, take care, alright? Alright, yeah, bye. Hung up. Oh that was Bob Rock. He's doing fine. And I had to like apologize to him for uh for the other day on the Grammys not uh not mentioning his name. <laughs> Which I felt really bad about. Can I help me pack? Get your bags in ten minutes. Ten minutes? Yeah. Fuck you! How am I gonna clean this up in 10 minutes? We'll give you 15. Huh? If I could get him an autograph, you know, make the kid, it would make his day. Cause he's feeling really bummed out about not going and everything. The huge big winner. Room service. I had a sandwich and a grapefruit. 38 bucks. Hey! I had a caviar omelet. Sandwich and a grapefruit from across the road. I didn't get anything cents. and it cost me 40 bucks. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> We're a live band. We love playing live. So the road is, yeah, it's home for us pretty much. We got to go Anchorage to Phoenix to Mobile to Syracuse to Charlevoix, Michigan, you know, that kind of a thing. We really hit all four corners of the states on this one. A solid fucking year is touring in America and not a lot of people do that, believe me. <laughs> I mean, we hit cities that nobody's like ever heard of, but they had a fucking ice hockey arena there, so we showed up and so did 10,000 other people. It was great. Hello, girls. The first Donington we did, this guy brought a fucking, I guess a full pig and slaughtered it at the gig. He was tossing parts up. And I seen like a, it was like one ham, you know, one of the legs were over there. But then the head finally came up. It's like, fuck, man. At the end of the gig, we could probably put it back together on the stage, you know. Make me hungry. <laughs> we played two dining tins previously. You know, it was pretty crazy. And I thought, wow. The third time we played, it was very much like a, an American festival. What the fuck's that noise? Come on, you know what to do! Oh, hey, hey, hey! Let's see if we can get everyone, even in the back there. Come on, let's go! Hey, hey, hey! Oh, that looks fucking great, man. <laughs> this one uh, starts off with your buddy Jason here. It's entitled, For Whom the Bell Tolls.
review, Albany. Metallica has made a career of cutting across the grain, but their non-conformist ways don't always work. Case in point was Friday night's unfocused rambling concert at Knickerbocker Arena. Blah, blah, blah. Just a second, day. The fierce energy of Friday night's fury beginning was dissipated by arena rock cliches they previously avoided, like playing arenas. In this magazine, when I was going to Catholic school, when I was in the fourth grade, one of the nuns busted me reading this magazine, took it away from me and said, I can't you believe such garbage, I'm going to call your parents. And I said, it's alright, they bought it for me. Shut up, Jimi Hendrix. Let's see. I'm the Wizard of Oz guy. This one. Pull them up. <laughs> Define conventions, this is good, that places most hits late in the concert set. Metallica burst out with Enter the Sandman, the childhood nightmare number that kicks off Metallica. Oh, they thought it was highly uh, satanic. Right on, dude. I was like the coolest kid for like a week with my friends because I stood up to the nuns. Tonight, but since yeah. we're gonna sound check in a couple of days, we've never played that song live before. <laughs> Great. <laughs> How was uh, Albany last night? It was good. Yeah. It was real good. The kids were really loud. We got a really shitty review in the paper. It was perfect. <laughs> Usually, all the best, all the best gigs, always get the worst reviews. You know? Kind of like Led Zeppelin the song remains <laughs> the same. What's the stage called? Uh, WHJY. HJY? Yeah, 94 HJY. Restrooms to your right. Huh? Food moves up on your left. <laughs> Next up we have Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. You didn't let me finish explaining. But you looking for Tony Smith, he's not here. Is Scott Seller here? Um, no, and I'm not, there's no such guy as Scott Seller. Oh, okay. Hey, fuck. Hey! <laughs> I just have a question. In order for that to be used, no, this, even, this, this, this is worthless, my friend. The tapest ticket is the tapest section. So go when the box office is open, pick it up, and then you can come back here. And then up to 6.30 or 6? Yeah, I can't believe how fucking cold it is. Tell you what, I'm going to throw on a, a, a ring. Yeah, but somebody yeah. should let people know about oh. it. I don't know, man. I think, uh, I think Lars is uh, starting to um, develop a fetish. 40-minute music marathon, Enter Sandman from Metallica. I want you to cooperate with the system, man, lady. It's what? very important not to breach the system, isn't it? Yeah, I think he likes to wear women's underwear while he's playing drums on stage. I don't know. I just come in here and, and play it. That's... I've, actually, that's the first time I've ever seen that. I don't know what the deal is. What you should do now, my friend, is you should put this away. Sure, no problem. Go ahead. Just walked into the recording studio, you know, recorded the songs that we'd written before, and, and that was it. This time we just wanted to try some production stuff, and that's what Bob came in really good, you know? Follow the procedure that we have established. Here. No, you got to kiss my hand. That's how it works. <laughs> good girl. All right? Go get it. Come here, and... If you have any worries, I'll take care of you. <laughs> Smell the glove! Hey, does anyone know where meet and greet is? Can you try that one? I, I, I work pretty good with this one. So. Oh, hey, easy now. I want to <laughs> knock you out. There's basically people that live for music, like some of our more dedicated fans, people that have been, you know, fans of the band since the first album and things. Hold on, man, this is working. Have heard Enter Sandman or whatever song on the radio, just driving around. So the radio has kind of 
brought us some new fans. I'll just pick uh, Sandman, for instance. You know, you go out and the intro comes on, right? And the kids are there, charged up. Lots of noise all over the place, probably louder than the PA. And once the first boom comes in, and it's just nuts and mayhem. And the kids singing along, you know, especially the songs that have been from this album that have been played on the radio a lot and on MTV and those kind of things. You know, they sing along and they're louder than us most of the time.
Best Metal Hard Rock Video. Def Leppard for Let's Get Rock. Metallica for Enter Sandman. Ugly Kid Joe for Everything About You. Van Halen for Right Now. And the winner is Metallica. God, huh? Look at this thing. Here we I, go. <laughs> I guess these things just went down in value, huh? If we can win one, I guess anybody can, huh? Oh. Care what's going on, you know? They think they had their music back a while ago, okay? They don't understand our music anymore. Fuck Tipper Course, he sucks dick. <laughs> I wouldn't be alive right now if it wasn't for Metallica. No. They gave me a chance to get my aggressions out, and they showed me that other people feel the same way I do. This is our time. This is for the teenagers. This is for the younger guys. Every generation you know? will scorn the next man and their music. We've got it right here. This is it. Well, I think what's really cool about the vibe that we have with our fans is that it's really kind of an on the level thing. Unforgiven. Most of our fans are just really cool and, and just kind of hang out and they'll come up and say, hey, fucking, you know, love your band. Whatever, hey, can I buy your beer or whatever? Be yourself and Lars, this bud's for you. It's gonna be a rockin' show. It's gonna be a kick ass Two-time Grammy winners for Best Metal Performance and a nominee again this year, Metallica. <sighs> it's hell. It sucks, man. Doing TV shows, it's really fucked up. Because you can't really do what you want. We were there for the rehearsal day, you know. It starts out nice, you know. You know, hold it, wait, stop. You can't fucking do that, man. Turn down, what the hell do you think this is? <laughs> so uh, uh, that was our, our first uh, impression of TV. It was like, fuck you, this is what we play. Get that guitar, because I'm going to take it home. <laughs> you know, it used to be a time, remember when you could go over to Fillmore? Remember the Fillmore East? And... I didn't know what this guy was doing on the drums. I kept thinking, man, his head's going to go off. And I was like, <laughs> was like, I had to go to the bathroom. Why didn't I go before I played? <laughs> I don't know. It's my kind of mentality. For best metal performance with vocal. The nominations are Attack of the Killer Bees, Anthrax, Bad Motor Finger, Sound God, Hangar 18, Megadeth, Metallica, Metallica, 1916, Motorhead. Yes, and the best metal performance is. Roy Rogers. <laughs> All right, Roy. But, uh,. Winning the Grammy this time around was, it felt right, you know. This one really felt like, fuck, we deserve this fucking thing, you know. We've been sweated in the studio eight months, worked fucking hard on it, and uh, it felt good, you know, to win this one. But they're still in the closet. Ho, 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 ho! Couldn't they give us a few more minutes after that? Ah, anyway, let's get on with it. Thank you. You want a job? <laughs> Um, let's see, I think the first thing we gotta do is obviously 
like you guys were expecting this. We've got to thank Jethro Tull for not putting out an album this year, right? <laughs> What's the magic word, man? I knew you could smell money. 8943, which is completely clean. 8943? What? Huh? Cool. Congratulations. Congratulations on the Grammy, gentlemen. It was a beautiful Thanks. thing. Thanks. Right, cool. Nice to meet you. You know we're doing it for you. You guys were fucking huge on national TV. You didn't say fuck once. I was shocked. <laughs> they didn't give us a chance, man. <laughs> <laughs> you guys fucking cut us off. I was going to go up to the mic and say, fuck George Bush. Huh? Pat Buchanan is a Nazi. <laughs> oh, for two Nazis. Uh, I saw Jason somewhere. <laughs> Jason is making sandwiches to take back to the hotel room because he's too cheap to order room service. Does it every night. We watch him every night, like, get stuff. He puts it in the bag. Ask him about it. Jason. Oh, God. Is it can't afford room service? Yes, it is. Only got to cross millions this year. I got plans for those millions, and it ain't for fucking sandwiches. You got that? Sorry. Save his money to become a slumlord. Of course it is, because you've rearranged the Slumlord in Walnut Creek. Mm. I buy my own country, that's really what I want. I like to have my own country. I, you know, I was gonna buy like three or four hundred acres somewhere, Idaho. It is because I'm a cheap skate. Absolutely. And I'll be the first to admit it, but you know what? Well, who's see who's laughing last? <laughs> what are you intended to play in Japan? Ten days. Ten days. Oh, I do like three Budokans, oh, two of the big Osakas. Two of Castle Ball. What about uh, Yokohama? They want us to play Yokohama. But the thing is, if we do, if we get Japan in before Christmas, we can take a really long Christmas break. We can take like three weeks or something before right. Christmas, right. or over Christmas. Right. Tim Duffy. There's a festival in South America in February. There's not $15 there. Cross my palms. Uh, $3. Five, yeah. It's only three. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I'm a rich man. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's get some drugs. Uh, time to meet the kids. What new and exciting anecdotes do the kids have for me tonight? There's only one way to find out. We shall see. Look out, look out. Hey, look security, how'd you get in here? Oh, yeah. it's bad for your health. Didn't your parents ever tell you? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Adopted. Excellent show. It doesn't matter. Look, look. Looking bad you know, whether you're I've adopted or wondered, not. Has anybody ever thanked you for We're growing a mustache? <laughs> no. <laughs> so is it like true that Kenny Rogers was really in the front row at the Grammys watching you guys play? Kenny Rogers? Uh, I don't know, but James Brown was in uh, yeah. <laughs> B.B. King and uh, a lot of people. That, that just like blows my mind. This is the first time I've ever been to a concert at all. And then... <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. I thought so. I need to find this to me. <laughs> We just had a week off. We played the Grammys and the sound was so shitty. It was yeah. good to get back on our shit again. The monitors they had were like my car stereo. Yeah. <laughs> you like, you like playing here better than there? With the, uh, the Grammys? Yeah. Hey, Hit, whose idea was it to have the pit and put all the guys in the pit? You know, we wanted to put some people in there and everyone was going, fuck, no, I can't work and all that shit. But, you know. So pretty good. Congratulations on that award, too, huh? Which award? Last night. Yeah, which award? What award? Should have had it last time, too. Award? Tied your award. Do you have any of those murderer cards in yet? The new ones with Jeffrey Dahmer? Oh, hey. How you doing? Remarkable tonight. Oh, well, thank you. Friend of Mick Yo's. Oh, hey. There you go. I've seen him in six years. Both times it came to me, and I was locked up. And like, this is like my dream come true, my once in a lifetime thing here. I'm shaking, I'm nervous. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, she thinks I'm one of the guy's new kids on the block. <laughs> How about if I just look at it for a while? Jesus, up. I will stop shaking. Oh my god. There you go, dear. Can you start my shirt, too? Sure. To Hella. 
So Hella? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Hella. Hi, my... my name's Ella, but everybody calls me Hella. Nice. <laughs> I haven't seen you guys. This is my first time in six years. Really? Yeah. We were, I get a we picture. Couple years ago. I was locked up twice when you came for, for assault and because I couldn't find a foster home or a shelter for me to go in. Eighteen. Oh my god. Can I touch you? Touch me. So cute. Got it. Okay. This, this is like my dream. This is like he could spit on me and I would still love it. I swear to God. <laughs> How much battery power? About 100 hours. <laughs> you guys are pretty funny. Shut up. Shut up. Definitely got to have heavy metal. You got a mouse in your fucking ear. <laughs> oh, that's your boss. Hey, Dick, come here. There's this fucking Kiss cover band playing in here. You know what? They're way better than fucking Kiss ever was. Come check it out. We got to see all, all the things that, that, that were to be seen in Moscow. We went to Red Square. We went to the Russian White House. We went to Lenin's tomb. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and then we had the concert. And uh, it was pretty exciting. Uh, it's, a, it's such a... Such a, a melodramatic place, you know. Moscow, we're having some fun today!
they were kept at this one gray area by communism for so many years that that when we came to town and played, you know, a lot of the times they were just like overjoyed but confused on how to act. So it's a hot new metal day, huh? Fucking night off, you're fucking coming too. <laughs> we don't know, we don't like to bring it to the door. We're going every day. Is that Dyer's straight? Is that really him? I think it is their plane over there. Huh? It is. Is that Dyer's straight? They're 10 minutes out! That's not them! long and hard, you know. It, the lifestyle, this is what we choose, you know. It's, it's full of extremes, you know. Fucking great, amazing uh, stories or, you know, get to meet people, see shit that no one ever gets to fucking see. And then, uh, you know, keep yourself together, basically. None of the fucking drug shit, you know, the drink you keep under control. You know, you basically, your body tells you what's going on on the road, you know, and I listen. It's a lot of fun, it's a lot of shit, you know? It's basically someone's normal life blown up, you know, a little bit more extreme. Wouldn't have it any different, you know, any other way though, man. I can't believe we've made it this far. I mean, a year and a half, two years is, is a long time, but when you think about all the places we've been to, all the things we've accomplished, you know, all the gigs we've played, I'm just amazed that you know we've come this far without slitting each other's throats <laughs> or just like losing it, you know, going up into a bell tower and, and shooting everyone. We've grown um, as people, as musicians, and uh, we continue to to grow by learning and trying to learn. 
I think you know, Metallica will be around for a while. There's no, no two ways about it. For many, many years. I hope that way down the line, somewhere, you know, that uh, my kids or somebody's kids will pick up the records and go, man, these guys, man. You know, like I pick up a Hendrix album today or something. It's like, man, these guys, man. You know, hopefully it'll be the same way. Well, obviously it's been an incredible ride, a ride for me that started um, basically in the spring of 1990 when we started writing the songs for this record. But I think one thing that always, I'm not sounding like corny here, that kind of puts a lot of it in perspective is that when you meet these kids that come to these shows who like, you know, some of them are like, yeah, you know, I only have like eight weeks to live. I mean, when somebody looks at you and say, I only have like eight weeks to live, it's like, it just, I don't know, it just makes you kind of realize that as great as all this is that we're doing out here, it's like you just never forget that you're, you know, you should never start thinking that you're like immortal or whatever. I'd say probably the highlight in terms of just the whole kind of reality check on, on all this stuff that, that people call rock and roll and just being in a band and so on, you know? I'll be extremely hey, James, fucking you know, pissed you off when I see it. You sold <laughs> All right. Those guys waste a lot of fucking film. Man. Bunch of assholes. Huh? They put up with their shit all the time. Uh, you're out of date. Well, four days, it's over. Yeah, it's over. Okay. That's what you think we're huh? staying in. Oh, shit. Sick. Having you guys track us down and, uh, trying to dig into us a little bit and get in on film has been. No, not today. Gus Abbott, I told you.
And then this is what happened in the first years of the 90s of that decade. This is where Metallica was, and this is what we represented, and this is where the world was at, you know. Beat that fucking meat boy, beat that fucking meat boy, beat your fucking Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, we got your mom in the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Certain people play up to the camera more than others. Did you like uh, looking back at it? Like after all this time? Fuck no. <laughs> I don't like looking at that shit. <laughs> nah, I don't really like looking at what happened yesterday or the you know past shit. I just kind of like to look forward. This thing Let's on? see. They waited out in the cold. It was like 16 hours. Let me tell you about what goes on on the bus. The last time they came, I was there for 13 hours. Even in the 60s, they knew we were coming. Fuck, man. I've gotten accustomed to like turning around and seeing this big glass eyeball and breathing down my neck. These guys are great to work for. That's why we're man, making a bad fucking move. Oh. Next. Get off like me, man. Fuck. Son, boy, Dr. Shit, man. I'm having a bad day. Can you tell? Was a up until recently. It brings out the ham in all of us, you know? That's not so later. Yeah, it's not so later, is it? <laughs> I'm so trying to hide my beer. <laughs> I want to see Slayer! I want to see Metallica! Fuck him all, man! Fuck him all! 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 Like, everywhere you fucking go, trying to have, like, a camera up your ass. I mean, it's just like... I think that if anything good comes out of all this, it is that all you guys out there will get a chance to, uh... to, like, see what actually goes on in the daily life of, of being in a fucking rock band and at the end of the day that's that's what made it worth it but gee i i couldn't wish it this upon my worst fucking enemy coming your way at the top of the next hour we've got the brand new video from nxs but after the news we've got metallica with wherever i may roam and hopefully if you've been watching all week you've been uh seeing our moment of silence the other day when i went to the metallica show uh, lars threw me a stick at the end of it so we need to have a close-up here there it is, says Metallica, Lars, 92, New York City. We have to have a moment of silence. Three, two, one. <sighs> okay, now we had a week's worth of moments of silence. I promised that to Lars, and I'm now going to hermetically seal this and uh, have it in my house. So hopefully you've enjoyed this week's worth of special Metallica moments. And remember, they're coming up after the news, so stay tuned. No, you know what? CTV. I Cheap. think you guys got enough of this fucking documentary, okay? You know what I mean? I mean, you're almost done with it and you're yeah. still filming.